Woo, so I finally did an all-nighter, and this is what I ended up doing. I did clean a lot, but I want to show the food that I <coughs> made. Still a little sick, but not as bad as before. But I made vegan spring rolls from Foodie Takes Flight. Unfortunately, only three of them survived from the batch. Because <laughs> first I tried cooking in oil, but, but it kept falling apart. So then I finally decided to bake the last few ones. And yeah, so I only ended up having three left. And I think I like made a whole plate hole, but sadly it didn't turn out. But... It's still pretty good. Um, I'll have to make it again, I guess. And then I just did the side. Then she does it with the shredded lettuce and cucumbers, but I added tomatoes because I love tomatoes. And I haven't made this recipe before, so I think that's why it fell apart um, when I was cooking it. But when I rolled it, it stayed together, so that was kind of weird. Um, I'm also not using my microphone since I'm talking like right in close to the a camera on my phone so just wanted to show you guys what I did that's my cat Josephine hey Josephine are you wanting to say hi and there's Hope and Speckles is hiding in the other room no what they've already been fed so I, I've been uploading old videos that I've been finding from Facebook onto my YouTube channel, because before it was just, uh, ghost stories that I did. But now, since I'm doing more about my life, I'm also including the cats more. Because that kind of ended up, um, what happened since in my condition, I can't really go out much. So then I ended up just doing more videos of my cats, because people want to see my cats. So, Phantom Stories kind of became my life rather than just ghost stories <laughs> which is why i'm showing you food now that i buy and cook because i am vegan and i want people to go vegan as well so this is a uh, foodie takes flight vegan spring rolls and you could check it out they're really good actually it's actually better that i baked it i think and then this is my other favorite addicting dish I have it like at least once every two days. <laughs> That's how much I love it. But it's called the Japanese teriyaki uh, or Japanese tofu steak. I think it's called. I can't remember exactly. But um, it's also by Foodie Takes Flight. And it's just mushrooms and green onions and onions. And then, uh, it's the tofu that you put in cubes and then fry it separately and then put it together and then add the sauce. But it's really, really yummy, like highly addictive. It's, I'm always making this, literally. Um, and so yeah, because tofu is so expensive right now, unless if you go to Sunrise. Even then, it's not always on sale. Um, I split the tofu in half so I only used half the tofu for this one and then for the spring rolls I did half from one cube but it was also um, firm because Walmart was out of extra firm and when I was doing instant cart I had to go with what they were getting me because um, of my condition and being sick all the time it's kind of hard for me to get out and do my own shopping again so I am trying to go out a little bit more, but I only go out two, like, uh, two days a week now for shopping, and then, and, um, only see family one day a week, and then the rest of the time I'm pretty much catching up on everything, and I think since I said that I don't want to travel right now until it's summertime, it's been a little less stressful for me, because I don't have to think about that and try to get the place, and, not so messy, like, so quick, so it's a little better, but, yeah, just an update, and what I did all night was pretty much clean, and cook, oh, and, yeah, so this is, once again, the vegan spring rolls, 
and the vegan Japanese tofu steak, I believe it's called. Um, but I will put down links below in the description, probably later tonight. Um, I've been up all night, so <laughs> it's 10 a.m. I haven't done an all-nighter in quite a while now, so it's kind of good that I finally got stuff done. Um, and yeah. So hopefully if you guys aren't vegan, you, do, you guys enjoy my recipes. And I guess I should have cut one in half. But, ah, it's kind of hard to know. But, um... What do you call it? All Foodie takes place. She has her own videos on the food that she makes. So it's so much better than mine. As well as how she makes it. So I don't record myself uh, making the food. Because I just direct you to her uh, making it. But Foodie Takes Flight is one of my favorite uh, YouTube vegan channels. And I like constantly make... Her noodles, especially her tofu, and her noodle dishes are, like, really, really good. So, yeah. Check out Foodie Takes Flight. Love her. She is amazing. I don't know if she'll ever watch this, but just had to say that. <laughs> um, if you guys are into vegan cooking and you want more ideas, or if you want to go vegan and you don't know how, check out uh, Foodie Takes Flight. Yin Men Cooking, I believe it's called. For some reason I can't remember his name off the top of my head. Um, and Cheap Lazy Vegan. And it doesn't taste like chicken. Those are my four to YouTube channels as well as Brand New Vegan. Um, but he doesn't really do as many recipe videos as they do. But he does a lot on his site. Although I haven't been on his YouTube channel for a while, so you could check out Brand New Vegan. But check out Foodie Takes Flight, Cheap Lazy Vegan, It Doesn't Taste Like Chicken, Yen Men Cooking, and Brand New Vegan. Those are my top, my top five uh, sites. And that's Josephine again. Hey Josephine, you want to say hi? She's saying, she's talking to you guys. <laughs> That's one of my cats. I have three cats all together. But. She's fine. So yeah. Uh, again, this is the food that I made. If you're interested in the recipes, I'll link it down below. And they're all strictly vegan. And this one here is my favorite, favorite. One of my favorite recipes. I got tons of... Uh, Foodie Takes Flight recipes that I do, like, weekly. So, I'm, like, obsessed over her channel, and I always stack up on, uh, tofu so I can do her recipes. Oh, and another, um, channel that you gotta check out is Miyaba's Cooking Class, I think it's called. Can't remember now. But, I also do a lot of her recipes as well. And... That's all I'll link down in the description uh, later on tonight. Uh, really takes fight for the re these two recipes, as well as my top five, um, my top go-to vegan recipes sites for YouTube, and yeah, um, but I've basically been five years vegan, so. That's why I was like showing off the food because I'm like, why are you guys eating animals and body parts and things that come out of an animal's butt <laughs> when you could eat vegan food, which is actually really not that hard to do. It's actually really easy. And yeah, so hopefully if you guys are not vegan yet, this will encourage you guys to go vegan. And I am finally going to go eat and go to bed soon. So, please like, share, comment, subscribe. And once again, this is the food that I made tonight from Booty Takes Flight. And this is Planted Stories, just welcoming you to my haunting world.